Hi, my name's Kieran Colner and I'm an artist evangelist. In this demo, I'm going to talk about asset implementation and give you a feature overview of the high definition render pipeline. I'm going to introduce what a pipeline is, provide a feature overview, show how to effectively implement assets, and then take these new features and put them to good use by creating a realistic looking glass material. I remember when I was first told about the new pipelines, my first initial questions were, what are they and what do they do? So I'm gonna keep things nice and simple. What is a render pipeline? Well, a render pipeline in general terms is the number of techniques used to get an object onto screen. And it roughly encompasses culling, rendering objects and post-processing. And of course, these can be subdivided into their own different categories. In 2018.1, we introduced a system called the Scriptable Render Pipeline. And as the name implies, it's a set of C-sharp APIs that allow you to script your rendering pipeline. For the majority of use cases, we provide two ready-made pipelines called the Lightweight and the High Definition. These pipelines allow you to customize what you require for the graphics in Unity. The pipelines can be used without the requirement of coding knowledge, which for an artist like me is great. But in contrast with coding knowledge, that's when they become fully scriptable and fully customizable. Each pipeline was created for a different purpose. The lightweight render pipeline is what we consider our general purpose pipeline, and it covers PCs, all consoles, and mobile. Whereas we have the high definition render pipeline, which is designed to be used for consoles and PCs, devices that can handle intense graphical processing. With the introduction of the high definition render pipeline, it prioritizes high fidelity visuals. Have any of you seen our Book of the Dead demonstration? Well, this demonstrates the capabilities of this feature. It all runs real time and can be altered and changed at the click of a mouse. At GDC 2018 in San Francisco, Natalia dove into what was possible with the high definition render pipeline by demonstrating the fundamental components, features, and techniques used to achieve the most realistic looking experience Unity has ever created. The high definition render pipeline breaks down the boundaries of graphics within the engine. Now more than ever, artists, programmers, and fundamentally anyone that wants to have a go can create gorgeous looking projects with the right know-how. If you want to play Book of the Dead or download it for yourself, you can either follow a link I'm going to provide for afterwards, or simply type it in the asset store within the engine. And explore. It's incredible to see how the high definition render pipeline has been used to its max potential. And it really pays off. It's a beautiful experience. I for one love the HD render pipeline. As an artist, it puts the power back into my hands again. Admittedly, it did take me a while to get used to it, but once I understood what the new features are, I was creating things that I never thought possible. Did you know it can handle more lights and more materials than the legacy pipeline? It can handle 24 lights per pixel compared to the lightweight or the built-in pipeline, which can handle eight, which is still quite a lot. So here are some of the many features within the high definition render pipeline. Some of the most interesting stuff is in the shader library and the materials. So we have subsurface scattering, anisotropic, iridescent, clear coat, tessellation, transparency, and decals. And a lot of this stuff I do cover in my demo. We have the procedural sky, which allows us to customize the sky and its parameters. We have the HDRI sky, which constructs an environment map on an image set within a component. It uses a cube map, and for any of you that don't know what a cube map is, it's a collection of six textures that represent a 360 view of the environment. These six faces form a cube, each face representing a direction of world space, forward, back, left, right, up, and down. We have light entities, specifically the real-time line and area lights. I use a few of them in my demo, and they're really quite cool. And then finally, we have the debugging and rendering. So the high definition render pipeline is a hybrid of deferred and forward cluster rendering. And a really cool thing is the debugging window. And I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to show that in my demo. So I just wanted to draw a comparison between the default material inspectors in both the legacy and the high definition render pipeline. There are loads of new preferences that have been added. And here we have an entire section about surface options. We have surface type and material type, which I'll dive into in my demo. You can determine whether the material will work with decals by enabling it. You can also determine whether material is double-sided. We have displacement mode. We have vertex animation, in this case, the form of wind. We have a mask map, which is a combination of metallic, 
ambient occlusion, detail and smoothness maps. We have the coat mask, which simulates a glossy clear coat effect. And then finally we have the detail map, which is used to add micro detail to a material. So the high definition render pipeline general workflow is that it should ideally be picked at the start of a project, represented here at the design tech select stage. But you can upgrade your project by going into the new package manager that was introduced earlier this year represented at the prototype stage. But beware, once you've upgraded your projects, there's no real going back. Just as a heads up. If you wanted to upgrade your entire project midway through development, it could require a lot of work, but it's completely possible. When you launch Unity 2018.2, you would pick one of them and then the world's your oyster. But what if you wanted to put assets into the pipeline that were created before the introduction of the pipelines? In other words, created with the intention of using the legacy pipeline, such as asset store assets. Well, this requires upgrading, and that's one of the things I'm gonna to show today. The asset upgrading follows exactly the same workflow for whether you implement the render pipeline through both Unity Hub or Package Manager. So here we have Unity Hub. Unity Hub is a separate application which was introduced early this year. This application allows me to track and manage my projects that I've created on this device, as well as showing me what version I'm using. No longer shall I be that person that would click the Windows button and hope that the right version of Unity would load. And for a user who has to manage a whole variety of projects, this is great. So I'm going to create a new project in Unity 2018.2. I'm going to name it something relevant. And under template on the right hand side, I'm going to click HG Render Pipeline. And then I'm going to click Create. 